inside the mind of a 12th house person. Coming to the reality that I'm actually a 12th house person. Coming into the knowing that the 12th house isn't as bad as people will make it seem. I'm a 12th house person because I live with planets in my 12th house. So we we just a, a bunch of little 12th house people, you know what I'm saying? The unconscious people, the unconscious mind. We always, always somewhere in some dream state. Always thinking about something else. 12th house people, the 12th house is the house of hidden enemies, the house of the unconscious mind, the Pisces house, the dream world, the house of things that are forbidden. Would I say forbidden? I can kind of put forbidden there. So I, yeah, I would say that. The house of isolation, so like mental hospitals, inst- any kind of institution, just... Just places that people don't want to go. <laughs> like, th- that's what that's what they try to make it seem like. The 12th house is the place where people don't want to go. The 12th house, it, to me, is probably the most spiritual house. Why? Because it's the dream state. So you, you're dreaming when you're here. Whether you're daydreaming, you're night dreaming, you're, you're dream dreaming, whatever kind of dreaming, you're doing some kind of dreaming. You, and these are the people who sleep a lot. You sleep a lot, and that's because you you live in you live in delusion. Okay, like <laughs> that's that's like as simple as like it can be put. Like, and a lot of times I I realize when I'm being delusional. You know, like it's just are you aware of when you're being delusion? Because being delusional. Because like I said, the the twelfth house is the house of hidden things so the something that you might think is real could actually just be like dream it's the house of neptune too so when you think of neptune you think of neptune is like the dreamy world the delusional person or the delusional character or archetype or characteristic rather because i don't think that any person is fully delusional like that doesn't even make sense to say that someone is fully delusional but it's a characteristic so when you think of a person with their son in the 12th house, then son in the 12th house people are the people where you as the other person can see their light. They don't necessarily see their light. They can be really good at whatever it is that the sun is in. They could, the the Sagittarius 12th house, they could be like a really, really smart person. They can be like really, really like a, a larger than life person. And the only people that will see it is maybe their family that's something that they keep hidden from the world but honestly the world can see it they just feel like they're hiding it from the world that's how I look at the 12th house and then even with moon in the 12th house like the moon in the 12th house is like you know uh more so like your feelings you your feelings are sometimes not even your own or you're feeling other people's yeah like you're feeling other people's feelings you're taking on those energies you're like a lot of times 12th house moon people are like empaths like with moon being in the 12th house it's like uh so you're like masking your feelings and when you're masking your feelings it's like you you don't even know how to explain your feelings like i just had a brain fart but it's it's like that like with moon in the 12th house like you are you're not even aware of these feelings or you're aware of them and you don't know how to put it together. You don't know how to put out how you're feeling. So those are just like kind of like examples of like those. You can go through the sun through the houses, the moon through the houses, Venus, Jupiter. We have the signs through the houses and you can see how those will play out for the the 12th house person. Other people see your light as being so bright, but they don't know that your shadow side is even bigger than your light side. And it's like, you're going through so many types of transformations in order, and you're doing so much work on yourself in order for you to be that light for other people. Because also these are people who attract other people with like, um, maybe like mental health issues you can attract those kinds of people or you could like have mental health issues these are people where you can attract these are (laughs) the pen pals 
you know, 12 house people, they being pen pals or on the flip side, they're being the person that's incarcerated. These are the people who are like, you can even look at uh, a 12 house person as being a teacher because an institu- a, a school is an institution. You can look at these as doctors, as psychologists. These are like, these are all institutions. So you can look at it like that, but these are people who have to always, always work on themselves and they are always working on themselves. Everybody doesn't see them actually working on themselves, but they're constantly, constantly working on themselves. They're, they, they are constantly trying to know themselves. Like with, like I was saying about the moon and the 12 house person, they know how they're feeling. They can, they, they can internalize how they're feeling, but they're not able to like fully express maybe with words how they're feeling. So that's like, you know, you're still working on yourself with that placement. So a 12 house person, if you have any, any planets in a 12 house or even work with the energy that's there, because just because you don't have planets there doesn't mean that that's not prevalent to you because you can have an empty house, but whatever sign is there, you have to work with that energy. It's best for you to work with the energy rather than against it. Because if you work against it, you can see the darker side of the 12th house, like alcoholism, drugs, mental health issues, jail, just the the darker side of the 12th house. So if you want to keep on, on the up and up and it's, it's easier said than done. I'm telling you, it's easier said than done. But once you are able to climb out of that dark place, because remember the 12th house is the dream state. It's the unconscious mind. It's the hidden place. So it's actually dark there. And this is why people give that, that negative connotation to it because they relate it to something that's dark and negative. And even dark to me does not mean negative. Dark means transformative. So you are going here and you're digging yourself up out of here and you are just becoming that light, the light that everyone else sees that you might not see. You as a 12th house person might not see that light, but everyone else sees it. But guess what? You're the person that all of the people come to. They're coming to you for help. Because they either seen you come out of that slump or they, they just know that you can help them get out of their slump. So it's like a 12 house person is a really, really crucial person in the community. Like, like I said, doctors, nurses, psychologists, like these are prominent people in our neighborhoods because without them, the, the, like, how would you get sewn back together if, if you got cut open how would you like get you know the nurturing the care that you need if there wasn't even herbalists like I look at herbalists I look at you know the natural remedy people I look at them too as 12 house people why because everybody isn't with going to a doctor or going to the hospital that's not everybody's twist but you still need the herbalists on deck right so you need the 12th house person in your community. They have the wisdom because the 12th house is the last house. The 12th house is where people say you go to die. The 12th house is the oldest, the oldest. So you, they have like all of that stored knowledge. You're going to them for something. And like, imagine owning your own darkness. You, you own it. You own all of the things that go on inside your head that you feel are like from the dark, darker side, the darker thoughts that you have, the, the more like not so bright things that you think about. Imagine owning it, you own it and no one else can shine it back on you. No one else can use it against you. No one else can do anything against you that you haven't already learned to get yourself out of. You've already climbed out of that stupor. So no one else can drag you back there. No one can drag you back there. I also like to look at the 12th house as ageless revolution. Why? Because of course time is going, we're, we're things we're experiencing, we're here, but we can still be youthful in all of this. Like when you own you, when you own your stuff, you cannot be exposed. So imagine just everything just 
being able to happen around you and you're still able to like brush everything off. You're able to brush it off because you already, you drinking that fountain of youth. You drinking it. Fountain. What? Water. What? Pisces. 12th house. Like you're drinking that fountain of youth. So no one can use anything against you. You done already lived it. You done already accepted it. You done already dealt with it. You already know that it is what it is. I'm me. I'm human. And then this is the, the mind. Like this is your subconscious mind. So imagine being immortal. Like imagine feeling immortal. Always thinking that, yes, yesterday passed. Tomorrow hasn't come yet. But I'm just, I'm just living. I'm just here. It, fate brought me here and I'm just living. And I'm just happy. My soul is here living out the way that it's supposed to live out. Just imagine being so free. Imagine owning your 12th house and being able to be so free. That's basically like the basis of how I deal with being a 12th house person, just being able to own it. And it, think about a person who has, no, a person who has 12th house Mercury. These are people who could probably hear what the heck you're already thinking. They already know what you're thinking because they can hear it. A 12th house Mars person. Now these are the people who hide their explosive behaviors. But imagine if everybody owned that Yo, I know you're talking about me. I can hear what you're saying. Yo, I know. Yeah, maybe you should do that. Like, yeah, like, I think that's a good idea. I think that'd be a good look for you. And you looking at the person like, how did this person even know what I would say? That's a 12th house Mercury. They already, they know, they can hear you. So they, they just giving you like, yeah, giving you that little nudge. Like, yeah, I think that's a good idea for you. Or you getting so angry because you have 12th house, you have Mars in the 12th house. Imagine you getting so angry and you owning that you, you get angry. You go to, what are those places called where you can just go and you can just knock things over. You can bang things. You can, the, the sound rooms, the loud rooms, something like that, whatever they're called. Like imagine being able to do that. Imagine just letting out your aggression in the way that you want to. You go to kickboxing, you do actual boxing, you go to karate, you freaking, you do something just to let out that aggression you go to the gym you do something that lets out your aggression now you you're you're more conscious that if you feel triggered and you feel like you about to beat something then you might want to walk away and you might want to go do that you might want to just go in the room by yourself and scream imagine being able to own that owning all of these emotions, these feelings, these things that are happening in your life, imagine being able to own it and no one ever being able to use it against you. That's real power. That's having real power. That's being above it all. That's being a 12th house evolved person. That's living in your truth. I can go on and on and on about the 12th house. I can, I can rant, rave, everything. The 12th house is not somewhere to be scared of. It's not something to feel like you don't want to walk into. You don't want to own, you know, that of course, of course things are going to happen. Things happen to everybody. I think things probably happen to 12th house people a lot more. Maybe, you know, guess what? Imagine being able to own all that. A 12th house Venus person, you afraid that someone's going to leave you. So you start to cheat on them. You know, that that's the house of, you know, the, the hidden things and the house of forbidden things or you being a mistress or you like just, you know, like that's more the extreme side of Venus. Like I can't really think about like Venus right now in the 12th house, but just a mat, go back to the Venus in the 12th house video and you'll see how Venus in the 12th house plays out. But just imagine being able to own all of it. You own every piece of it. No one can ever use it against you. Maybe 12th house Venus person, they, they might call you a scorned lover. They might be like, oh yeah, that person, they came through, bust the windows on my car or something like that. And you'd be like, yeah, I did it. I own it. I did it. You apologize for it. You apologize for the action. You don't apologize for the emotion that you felt. Cause it was real. So, you know, things like that. But like I said, I can go on and on and on because people will like really give a negative connotation on the 12th house, but please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Peace.